when we say all these things are covenant blessings, embraced in the covenant of grace, of which the bread and the wine are signs and seals, then you say, well, how do I partake of the blessings of the covenant of grace? Faith. Faith alone. And that's what is the true partaking of Jesus Christ in the Lord's Supper. Faith. Believe. And thou hast eaten. John 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And the Lord's Supper is a sign and seen of that reality. Spiritual life through words. Believing words gives you spiritual life. Believing the word of God. Eternal life unites you with God. Believing the right words. Christ's words. This true faith, whereby we eat and drink Jesus Christ, is of course a personal activity. That's very simple. You don't profit if you don't believe. You could even say you profit according to your faith. As Jesus said once, according to your faith, be it unto you. Strong active faith profits more from the sacrament as it does with the word this faith is a personal and felt activity you know when you are believing just as you know when you are looking at something you know when you are coming to something you know when you are hearing something, these are all images of faith. Faith is coming. Faith is hearing. Well, you know when you're eating and drinking, I assume, unless you were fasting today, that you had your Sunday dinner. You knew when you were eating and drinking. You tasted it. You enjoyed it. That's the way faith is. You also know and experience the profit of believing. Just as you know what it is to eat and drink physically, you also know what it is to drink and eat spiritually. And it tastes like this. It tastes like being certain, which we call assurance. It tastes like being at peace with God being comforted, not being afraid, and being sure that Jesus cares for you, and that God is near, that he hears your prayers, that his promises will be kept. That's what it tastes like, believing. This personal and felt activity of faith is also a daily activity. You do not simply believer eat and drink Jesus Christ at the Lord's table you don't if that were the case you would only eat and drink Christ and be strengthened by him and believe in our circles once every three months that would be no good the believer eats and drinks Christ each and every day of his life and he does that by virtue of his being a believer if he didn't do that, he would be dead. You eat and drink Jesus Christ when you read the Bible. Personally, when you pray. And not just more formal times of prayer, but when you dart a prayer to God through the day, you're trusting in Christ. Each time you feel that pang of guilt for your sins, and you feel it, you ask God for forgiveness and sometimes the best we can do is a brief request because of circumstances upon us. When you read books, when you meditate on the Word of God, you're eating and drinking Christ. All the time for the believer. Well, we also eat and drink Christ, especially and sacramentally, at the Lord's Supper. 
this is a more intense instance, you could say, of the daily reality of feeding on Christ by faith alone. The sacrament, therefore, signifies and seals this blessed fellowship, eating, drinking, to us, strengthening our faith. That's what we're about. And what happens? As we continue in the personal, daily, felt activity of faith, what happens? As we eat and drink Christ and as we profit, what happens? Well, you could say that the bones and sinews of the new man grow. The believer develops spiritual muscles. He has a healthy appetite for the word of God like a child growing up. The weaknesses and the illnesses bit by bit are cured. There's greater spiritual health. And I say spiritual deliberately because eating the Lord's Supper is not like the charismatics say or some Anglicans a means for improving your health or bringing healing or curing to the body. It's spiritual. We grow in grace. Just as physical food makes us grow. And the growth of the believer is growing up into Jesus Christ our head. Which makes us flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone. Amen.